Shalom. First and foremost, as always, giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Holy Spirit. And as always, I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. All right, I'm the brother Zion, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to feed the sheep and the lambs of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. And basically, through the Spirit, um, I wanted to go into this topic, okay, um, Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, okay, and basically, it speaks about what? The sword coming upon the land, okay, and as watchmen and men of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, okay, what are we supposed to do when we can see the sword coming upon the land, okay, as, as, as we're going to read, we're supposed to blow the trumpet and warn the people, Okay, because at the end of the day, you know, these people are, you know, you Israelites primarily, as I always mentioned, you're not going to be able to say you didn't know. Okay, and there's a reason why the Lord has set up the prophets and he set up watchmen upon the four corners of the land, you know, in every major city. All right, all these different countries that brothers are in teaching his word. You're going to have no excuse when the Lord brings the sword upon the land and you've been warned. As a matter of fact, I want to start with one of my favorite scriptures. Okay. Um, you know, if you watch my videos, you know, I bring this scripture out a lot. Uh, Jeremiah chapter seven. And uh, verse. Twenty five. It says, since the day that your fathers came forth out of the land of Egypt until this day, I have even sent unto you all my servants, the prophets daily, rising up early and sending them. OK. I've even sent you all my servants, the prophets daily. Rising up early and sending them where unto the highways, into the hedges. All right. To warn the people and the Lord even gave us what the Internet, which primarily does most of the, the, the heavy work <clears throat> for us to wake up Jake that's scattered around the world. OK, it says, yet they hearken not unto me, nor incline their ear, but hardened their neck. They did worse than their fathers. OK, and that's what you see today. You see a bunch of Israelites, you know, with the spirit of YOLO, with the spirit of uh uh, living my best life, all right, and we're definitely not in the times of uh, uh, folly and, and and being wicked, all right. Now, yeah, you can have your little fun here and there, okay. You don't have to walk around with 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 a stick up your behind, like you're a fake Christian, and like you can't take a drink <laughs> or a sip of some strong drink or wine or, you know, you know, go have dinner and have fun. But ultimately, what we know that the, the the main course is what to warn the people. OK, so this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 33 and verse one. It says, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, son of man, speak to the children of thy people and say unto them, when I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchmen. OK. If when he see if the sword upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. And, 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 and what's the perfect example of that? You see brothers on the highways and the byways. OK, with garments and the correct doctrine. You may see him with signs. OK. Uh, the, the market MOTB signs. All right. Uh, World War Three signs. OK, uh, a sign of uh, the real the real Messiah. OK, hey, those are the men of the Lord. Those are the prophets. And they have to have what the correct doctrine, of course. But there's Israelites, what, all over the planet, man. That's via prophecy. OK, they're warning the people. It says, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning. OK, because you got a lot of people. That, you know, they see us T to them. We're invisible somehow. All right. 
or they come up and they buck, they, they buck up against the truth. They're not taking warning. <laughs> All right. Because this is not a game, of course. This isn't a PS4 or a PS5 or an Xbox. This is the real deal. And take if not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. His own head, man. Why? Why is his blood going to be upon his own head? Because when you saw the sword coming, you warned the people. Okay? You weren't a slothful servant. You were a true watchman. And, and, and Lord willing, that's us. And we say that the blood is going to be upon your head, man. We're doing the groundwork. We're doing what Yahweh Bashim Yahshai set us up to do. In season, out of season, week in, week out, daily. That's why when you subscribe to certain brothers' pages, you're getting edified daily. And through the spirit, I try to be one of those brothers who edify daily. You know, now every brother's, uh, you know, time schedule is different. If you don't edify daily, that doesn't mean you're wicked. You know, as long as you're putting out constant edification, that's okay. You're warning the people. It says, he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall what? Deliver his soul. Deliver your soul, man. It's all about uh, salvation at this point, man. The scriptures say that these words can make you wise unto salvation. But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned. Okay. And that's called what? A slothful servant. A lot of you guys, uh, you know, a lot of Israelite groups. I'm just going to call it spade to spade. A lot of you don't go out in the wintertime. You know. So how are the people going to be warned if you ain't out there in season, out of season? It says, and the people be not warned if the sword come and take any person from among them. He is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So you're going to be responsible, man, for not being a full time prophet. And I said this at camp last week. I said, you can't be a part time man of the Lord and expect to get the benefits of the kingdom of heaven. You got to be a full time man of the Lord. All right. There's no ain't no part time, man. Ain't no taking breaks when they get cold outside. OK. The slugger would not plow by what reason of cold. So the blood is that that blood is going to be required at the watchman's hand because he's not blowing the trumpet. He's silent. It says, so thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me okay and that's what we constantly have to be doing we constantly got to be barking this truth we constantly got to be singing this new song because that's how the children of israel are going to continue to wake and that's how the most high is going to seal his elect and lord willing we make it to the kingdom there is no other way out man there is no other doctrine that's going to deliver us from our enemies Christianity's garbage has failed us. Being a Baptist, being a Muslim, being a seven day Adventist, being a damn uh, 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 um, Egyptian uh, house of consciousness, all this crap, man, it's all failed us. The true doctrine is that what? We're the Israelites. The other nations are our enemies. We're at the end of this thing. And salvation is for the elected nation of Israel. And ultimately in the kingdom, all Israel is going to be saved. All Jake is going to be right. But we understand on this side, what, two thirds are going to have to be destroyed because of their wickedness. OK, but they're going to come back. What? Through the elect, through the loins of the elect. The nation is going to be brought back and all Jake is going to be straight. All right. So, hey, man, right now we understand there's going to be a lot of our people. They're going to get judged. They're going to die. They're going to go through hell. And we're warning them of these things. But like I said, sometimes we just the Lord has it to where we seem invisible to these people. And that's OK, because the scriptures tell us inquire how the righteous is going to be saved. All right. 
It says, when I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way, that man shall die in his iniquity. But I will, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. And that's what it's all about, man. It's all about delivering our souls from uh, uh, this hell that's getting ready to take place. All right. And what does it tell us in Hosea 4 and 6? My people are destroyed for what? A lack of knowledge. That's one of the first scriptures you learn when you come into the truth. All right. <laughs> the fear of the Lord is what? The beginning of knowledge, man. All right. Proverbs 1 and 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. So that's where you're going to see. That's where you're going to get the warning. You're going to run into the men on the streets, most likely. Or on the Internet. You know, YouTube, Odyssey, wherever you see the truth. Different platforms. Primarily YouTube because YouTube is the main hub for this truth right now. She cried from the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates in the city. She uttered her words saying, how long you simple ones will you love simplicity? Right. How long are you going to continue to just live this life that Esau is giving you? OK, which is really death, black culture. You know, all you want to do is commit adultery party. Now, there's nothing wrong with chilling. Don't get it wrong. Be not righteous over much. But a lot of you Jakes out there, all you want to do is party 24-7. You living in a, a, a bubble, fake-ass reality world, man. You ain't pay, paying attention to nothing that's going on. You wouldn't know your, 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 your right leg from your left. But when these calamities come upon you, you you, you ain't going to know from, from whence it riseth. Because you've been bullshitting all, all, all the day long. You're simple. It says, and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge. And a fool does hate knowledge. You try to tell a nigga about the MOTB and he looking at you like you got two heads. The mark of the you know what. Because these devils like to censor our videos, man. You know, you try to tell a dude about uh, 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 the third world's war. Try to tell him about Russia and the U.S., you know, in prophecy, he going to look at you like you got two heads. They hate knowledge. Try to tell him that he's an Israelite. Oh, what? I ain't no Israelite. <laughs> Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit into you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. How does the Lord stretch out his hand? Via his prophets, man. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Okay? When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. Come on, man. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then they shall call upon me. Right. Now you want to get serious. But guess what? But I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Because when 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 you had time to repent and you had time in, in the soul and we was out there warning you, you didn't want to hear it. But when all these things come upon you, now you want to call upon the Lord. No, it don't work like that. For that they hated knowledge, like it says up there, and fools hate knowledge, and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. And this scripture never gets old, man, because we're going to see this play out. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them and the prosperity of the fools shall destroy them. But whosoever hearkeneth unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Did you hear that? But whosoever hearkeneth unto me, but whosoever, but whosoever hearkened unto me shall dwell safely. 
Okay, and shall be quiet from the fear of evil. We're trying to de de deliver our souls. These words are able to, these scriptures can make us wise unto salvation, like I said earlier. So keep playing with Yahweh Bashim Yahshua if you want to. Keep playing. And your ass going to be as, as dung upon the face of the earth, man. You know? The Lord is getting ready to scoop his elect and he's getting ready to make his move. That's why he said, well, hold fast to what thou hast, man. All right. Hey, so with that, it was a quick little lesson. Lord willing, this is edifying. It's time. To, it's been time to get serious, man. All praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaq Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone that taught us this truth through the Holy Spirit. Another peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. It's the brother Zion signing off. Shalom.